Welcome to Rick's Corner, brought to you by Old School Labs, the brand I trust and the only one I put my name to. Use my code, Drayson12, on the link below. Welcome to Rick's Corner. The man, the myth, the legend. Now on with the show. Welcome to Rick Grayson Live. I have been asked many, many times to talk about TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. Um, that's actually a pretty new term over the past few years, but um, years ago, growing up, no one knew what it was. Nobody knew that you needed to have testosterone count in your body at a certain level in order to function properly sexually or to have energy or to have a good feeling of, of well-being. Women would go through a period where they'd have to get estrogen because theirs was low and they had to supplement it with something. And nobody ever said anything about it. But the minute anybody started taking testosterone or steroids, you were wrong because you were a bodybuilder and it was wrong. You can't be doing this. Well, complete opposite. I asked my cardiologist about it, about taking testosterone. He said, it's good for your heart. He says, you've been taking it for uh, your heart and your heart's getting better and better and better because I had a damaged chamber. It makes it stronger. When I got out of the hospital about three years ago with pneumonia, I had a testosterone level of 197, which is really, really low. They wanted to boost it up between four and 600. Now it's at 1200, which for me works fine. So the, uh, the therapy base is probably about one injection a week for me. Uh, one cc of 200 milligrams of testosterone or 250 at most. And that's just a maintenance supply and it works really well. They also have the gel that you can rub on your arms or they have, um, they have a tablet as well. But I think that the, the injection works the best. Now, you don't need this when you're 20 years old. You don't need it when you're 30 years old normally. Um, it's been abused by a lot of guys that age because they feel it's going to make them bigger in the gym and more sexual and it's going to really help them a lot. But their body between 20 and 30 is still producing a lot of testosterone, so they don't need to add to it. It'll just damage your own supply because it takes over and your body doesn't make its own if you ever go off. That's why you see these younger guys taking something and then they go off the drug to get skinny because it's it burn out their own testosterone level, their own manufacturing. Um, there's testosterone boosters you can buy over the counter. Every company has one. I've tried them. I don't know if they really work. I don't think they work for me. I've never noticed anything from it. Um, they say they work, but do they really? I don't know. You can get uh, male enhancement pills, but do you need them? If your testosterone's high enough, you don't need that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't need it. I'm fine where I am. And um, I think the testosterone maintenance has really helped. It's, your skin's better. I'm stronger in the gym. I have less body fat. I have more muscle. I feel good all the time. My energy level is way up there, whereas if I didn't, it would be down pretty far. Uh, so many people complain about this. I see it all over the internet and I hear it from doctors about their testosterone levels low and they just can't function anymore and they're fatigued and they can't get around, yet they don't do anything about it because they think it's a steroid, which it is a steroid, it's a cortisone steroid, but it's not the steroid in terms of, are you taking steroids to get big? It's not like that. It's a male hormone. <clears throat> we all have them. We all manufacture them. And what we're really trying to do is replace the downside of it where we're not producing what we used to produce. I've had people stop me on the street that I run into from here and there, and you're not taking steroids, are you? I said, well, why? Number one, why would it matter to you? It's none of your business. Number two, why not? Well, you know, it can kill you. I said, really? Where's your source of information? Well, I don't know. I think I heard it on the news. Well, the news, as we know, is mostly wrong all the time. They can't even get their addresses straight when they mention something. I had a newscaster come out here from Channel 4 doing a whole thing about Google buying golds in Venice a few years ago. We stood in my den and we talked, and he says, I'm here with Rick Grayson, the original guy from Gold's Gym, and we're going down to the original golds on Hampton Street. I said, wait, hold it right there, and this is on the air. That is not the original golds. The original golds was 1006 Pacific Avenue. Then it moved to 2nd Street in Santa Monica, and now Hampton is the third move. So if you think that's really the mecca or the original, you're wrong. It's not. Well, he didn't know that, but he's given out this information, and it's not true. So if you see somebody who's a bodybuilder or a wrestler and he had uh, problems and he died, the first thing they say was they found steroids in his medicine cabinet. Well, that's not the reason why. I had a friend of mine, and I researched this years ago about anybody who had ever died from steroids, and we never found one thing in any hospital where there's any indication or any truth in that. Usually it's something else. 
and they just want to blame it on that. Steroids and testosterone were used in World War One, World War Two, for people who were injured and need patients to bring their, their health back, to gain their appetite back, to gain some muscle tone back, and get their energy back to where they were. That's where it originated. But when you take something like that and you put it in the hands of a bodybuilder, they're going to say, oh, my God, if it worked for them, think what's going to do for me. I'm going to get huge. The same thing happened with growth hormone. Growth hormone was used for kids who weren't getting their height, their bone density, they weren't getting the length, and they were giving it to them to try to make them a little bit more full size like an adult. Well, they found out that it does increase muscle and increases all those cells in your body. So the bodybuilders got a hold of it, and they said, okay, I think I'm going to do the growth hormone. It was like a, I don't know, six-week supply. It's supposed to increase your appetite and increase your cells and double your cells and put a lot of size on at the same time. It burns your body fat because it's changing your metabolism. Well, I tried it a number of times, and I never got a thing out of it. didn't do one thing for me at all. It was like water. But some people did make some, some progress on it, but I don't know many. And then it came out with the fake stuff, so you don't even know what you're getting if you do get it. So don't invest in something unless it comes from a doctor because 99% of the time it's not real. Then they found out that diabetes and um, people with diabetes were taking insulin. And insulin would actually make you big. It would help you absorb your foods. You had to take a lot of calories with it. But the, the, the uh, downside of that is if you don't need it, you can get diabetes. And then you can have a real problem. So the bodybuilders heard about that, and they started taking that as well to get huge. And that's why you see these guys down in Santa Monica or Venice that are 300-pound bodybuilders that are enormous. It's not just the steroids. It's the other stuff you add into it, and that's what makes them as big as they are. But on your, you're tampering with something like that. You're really tampering with your, you know, your insides in your life, and you don't want to mess with it. It's not even worth it. Does it really matter if you walk out the door how big you are to anybody but you? No. No one really cares. I got on the scale today in the gym. I was 210. This is the lightest I have been in 20 years. Uh, I normally hover around 220, 225. Um, I've been taking... Um, Thyroid, because my thyroid was low, and I found out it was like really low. So they doubled it. And ever since I have two weeks ago, my energy level shot through the roof. My metabolism is burning like a firecracker. My strength is coming up. I feel lean and hard, and I like it, and it's increased everything in my body just from having my thyroid balance checked out and making it where it's supposed to be. So that, to me, is much more um, for me than I would take any steroid. I think it just done, it did wonders for me. So if you ever have a problem like that, get your blood test and have it checked because you never, never know, you might be low. And I didn't know I was that low. I was pretty low. But testosterone replacement clinics are all over, and they're usually for guys who are, I'd say, about 40 up because um, your testosterone drops at 1% per year as you age. And so, you know, by the time you're 100, <laughs> it's going backwards. <laughs> so if you want to get it checked and have uh, something done for it, it's a good time to do it and see if it works for you. It's not going to hurt you. It's only going to help you. I've been through this over and over with my cardiologist. Got to make sure I'm doing the right thing. And he says, no, you're fine. There's nothing wrong with you. I had a complete panel done three weeks ago on my heart, my blood, my everything. Cholesterol, blood pressure, everything was normal, if not even better than normal. So um, I just wanted to throw that out there. It's not a bad thing. It's, um, I don't know why it's okay for women to have their estrogen count done and be able to take something that they need, and I think they should if they have to. I don't find fault with it, and I don't find fault with guys increasing their testosterone if they have to do it. If you're 20, year old, 20 years old and you don't have to do it, then don't do it because it's not the time in your life that you need to. So if you get the side effects where you get good side effects and it works for you, go for it. See what it's all about. Make sure when you do this, though, make sure that if you're working out that you train hard, not heavy, but hard, but medium weight, Make sure that your diet's right on because this actually activates your your metabolism to absorb all the protein and all everything into your system better than if you didn't have any testosterone, much better. So uh, I'm not against it. You know, people can say all they want about steroids and this and that, and that's their feeling. It's, their opinion is really none of my business. But my opinion is my business, and that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. So I wanted to tell you all that, and... Uh, just, just little perks of information that I like to throw out once in a while before I get too old to remember all of them, which will never happen. <laughs> Thank you for watching me, and I will see you soon. Watch Rick's Corner. I have a lot of good stuff coming out, and thank you for being a fan, a friend, and a good person. I really appreciate your friendship more than you will ever, ever know, and I mean that from the heart. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the video brought to you by Old School Labs. Use my discount code GRAYSON12 on the link below at oldschoollabs.com. 
Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson. Personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it and I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrayson.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.